Welcome back everybody. Okay, it is now being 24 hours and I have now those two addresses that are whitelisted yesterday are now ready to use. So I'm now going to show you how to withdraw them to the MetaMask account that we created yesterday. Okay, so I'm going to go to USD coin and I'm going to go, sorry, go back, you go to your accounts and then you go, you'll see there what you've got there. So you go to USD coin and you're now going to click the transfer button. You're going to click withdraw and there you're going to click external wallet at the bottom and now the one that we had yesterday we want to withdraw usdc.e so i'm going to click withdraw usdc.e and i'm going to put in 97.52 and i'm going to click withdraw so now it's going to tell you what the fee is so now what i like to do is just to make sure um I just like to send a test so I'll either send a dollar or you know two dollars or whatever just to make sure that it gets sent there some some of these uh, exchanges have a, a minimum withdrawal so you could send ten dollars but I've done this before so I'm going to just uh, I'm going to send it out I'm confident and I click confirm and then it'll ask you into your code your code and now it's also going to ask you to do your verification so it's going to send you a code to your mobile phone so i'm going to click send and i'm going to get that code Four five five two seven five. okay and then i'm going to get my two-factor authentication code which is that going to paste that in and i'm now going to withdraw it Okay, so now it says your USDC withdrawal has been submitted. Um, this can take anywhere from, depending on how the withdrawals work in the exchange, can take anything from up to five minutes up to, can sometimes be instant. But it just depends, sometimes each exchange has withdrawals on every hour. So this could happen, you'll just keep checking the address until it shows. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with uh, AVAX. So I'm going to do AVAX. And I will go transfer, withdraw, and I want to withdraw to the external wallet that we did yesterday. So withdraw. Okay, and then I go withdraw. And there it's going to give you the fee, so it'll give you 0 0.095, and it's going to that address. So I'm going to click confirm. Again, it's going to ask me for to do the same thing with a, a one-time pin SMS or text. 956609 and then again the same with the um, two-factor authentication under your authenticator and there you'll see your AVAX has been withdrawn so now we'll go to the AVAX I mean to the MetaMask wallet and we'll see that when the, the funds will show in a minute. You will get email confirmations as well from crypto.com saying it has been sent. But uh, obviously the, the, only the main way to check is that it's in your MetaMask account. Okay, so let's go to the MetaMask and I'll show you that the funds have been transferred there. Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, okay, so now that we've done transferred everything, I'm just going to show you the on the MetaMask there, I, I'm using my browser as Brave, so you've got your extension shortcut here. If it doesn't show your MetaMask, it might not show on the top right corner. So what you should do is just click on the extensions and then just click the little pin tab over here. So it'll pin it to the top there so it's easily accessible for you. So now what you want to do is you now want to just make sure that the funds have arrived. So I'm going to click on that little drop down and you'll see there there's the 0.095 AVAX that I had sent from crypto.com and now you'll see I've got no my usdc.e is not showing so that's a common um, you know thing that people struggle with so what you got to do is you've got to go to this website in the background coingecko.com and you just got to search for usdc and then you'll see the usdce it's the second one that comes up you click on that and now you'll see there you've got there it's, it's one dollar obviously at the top you can see that it'll say add to metamask so we click add to metamask and there you can see the 96 dollars that i sent and i click add token 
and now when you go to your drop down you'll have two items which is your USDC and your AVAX. So that's now successful. It's been transferred to my MetaMask. And now I'm gonna to go to a website called Trader Joe's. And because Trader Joe's is the only exchange that does, I think there's one other one, but I don't use it. The most popular one is Trader Joe's XYZ. And what? And that is the only place where you can buy TUS, the TUS that you're gonna to need to bridge. Okay, so we're going to go to Trader Joe, XYZ. Okay, um, and now what it's going to say is it's going to, do you want to connect your web, your wallet with this um, address? So you're going to say next, and you're going to say connect. Okay, so now it's connected. This is just a disclaimer saying that you must just be careful of um, fake coins. So, but it's perfectly fine. Um, and you click continue. And here is where you will now convert your USDC.E. So you'll click on this little icon over here, the AVAX. See there now there's your our balance showing. And the reason why we needed AVAX was because you, this AVAX is your fees for exchanging um, USDC.E into TUS. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on this. We're going to change from usdc.e and there you'll see the balance and what we want to do as well is we want to add tus to the wallet as well so there's a shortcut here you click add tus to wallet and you say add token okay now you want to literally you want to convert the entire amount from uh, usdc.e into uh, tus so just give it a few seconds. It says um, insufficient liquidity for this trade. But just give it a few seconds and there you'll see it pops up and um, it allows you to do your trade. So that means you will have 83,809.4 TUS to do your trade. So I'm going to click approve. And it's going to say, do you want to please approve the USDC.E? Click confirm. And now it'll say one item pending in the top right corner take a few seconds and now it says they approve usdc okay so now you might need to refresh the page i'm going to refresh it and do it again because you have to approve it once and then do it again so just give me a moment i'm going to do it again Accept the update, and USDC.E, 96, and TUS, so now I'm going to do the maximum amount, click on max, and now we get 83,794, the price has changed slightly, click on swap, and it says, are you sure you want to confirm the swap, and I'm going to say yes, confirm swap, and then my little pop-up will say, do you want to, um, are you confirming this, this is your MetaMask confirmation, you need to do both, and you see, this is why you needed AVAX, because this is the fee that it charges you to swap. And then it takes a few seconds. You'll see in the top right corner that it'll swap to TUS. Now there you can see swap TUS for 83,700. And that is how you swap um, to TUS. Okay, now we're going to move on to the next step, which is bridging your TUS over to the Swimmer Network. Stay Okay, so this is the bridge um, URL that you will use. I will put all the descriptions in the, I mean, the links in the description below. So you now, if you had previously uh, bought crabs on the AVAX network, you would use this first option to bridge those existing crabs over. But cons um, seeing as this is a complete new setup video, we are going to go with um, either layer zero bridge or a seller C bridge. Now, the difference between the two is that when you bridge from these, this one uses um, different fees uh, to this one. So this one will use like for like. Your seller C bridge will use like for like, whereas this one will use TUS only. Um, and but now we're going from AVAX to TUS, so that will be um, that will be uh, using uh, AVAX to swap it over. So I'm going to show you that now. So we're going to click use, 
and now it'll ask you to connect your wallet in the top right corner so i'm going to click connect and it'll say metamask i say yes i want to use metamask and i'll say next and connect so basically what this does is it just connects your wallet to this and it allows them to access your funds so we are going to be bridging tus and i want to bridge the max over and you'll see now you've got your cross chain fee which is 0 0.00132 now again this is why we needed the avax in order to get things going okay so now i'm going to bridge 83,798 TUS over to the swimmer network because everything runs on a swimmer network and you need TUS over there in order to buy your crabs. So I click bridge, it says are you sure you want to do this, you click confirm, it'll pop down with a MetaMask confirmation because you need to confirm everything via um, MetaMask and you're going to click confirm and it says approving this can, depending on how busy the network is, it, this can take anywhere from, you know, it's almost instant, or it can take, um, or it can take um, up to an hour. It just depends on how busy they are. But usually, generally, it's pretty quick. Um, so now it says processing. Please don't close this page. So just wait for it. Okay. Now you'll see that it took about 30 to 45 seconds. Um, I just I did delete that um, part of the video. It's just a waste of 45 seconds, and now we are ready to move on to the next step, which is the fun part: is buying your crabs. So, okay, we are now at the uh, marketplace of Crabada. So, I'll put the link in the description below, and when you click on this link, it's going to give you this pop saying "Use Swimmer Network." Now, obviously, remember we added the two networks here, so we've got them there: the Avalanche and the Swimmer. So now it's, this is just an automatic switch over. So you're going to say use swimmer network and it's going to say, do you want to switch networks? You say switch networks. And now it'll just ask you if it pops up again, it's because Trader Joe's in the background. So I'm going to close Trader Joe because we don't need that anymore. And now you'll see that pop up went away. So now what you can do is um, I'm going to put some recom um, I'm going to buy some different crabs because I'm, a, I'm going to use them in my, in the battle game. So, I'm going to browse for a couple of crabs, um, but what I do recommend that you do get is, um, because you're starting out, get one good defense crab and two good attack crabs. So I would always go for a prime crab because they have the, the best attack. So you'll click on prime on the left and then what you want to do is, you want to get your purity to six because you, know, you get people who are testing and crossbreeding between different breeds. And you know, it sounds funny, but uh, yeah, they, um, they're they just playing around and now they're trying to sell them. So you obviously always want your, your prime crab um, to be pure. So what you can do is with the, the one I suggest always getting is a um, avalanche pincer. So um, that is the best on the market. So avalanche pincer um, and you want Bitcoin eyes. So that is my recommendation for a prime. So there you want Bitcoin eyes. And you'll see now they go around. Now depending on your strategy, you know, it just depends what you want to do and what you want to achieve in the game. If you want to start breeding, because there's a whole thing on breeding that you can do, which is pretty fun. And you know, you can you need to look at the breed count. And this is the mistake that I made. You know, it costs quite a bit of money to breed, depending on the breed count. So it just depends what you want to do. If you want to breed, just look up the on the white paper on the breeding costs because you know come down the line in a month or two you'll be like, oh damn, I should have spent a little bit more and I should have got the a two breed or a one breed. And you know, if you are breeding as well, just bear in mind you need to check at the DNA of the crab, which was what I also didn't know. So if you click on DNA. You want all, if you are going to breed, you want all three to be Avalanche, Avalanche, Avalanche and Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. Because then you know if you breed like for like, you are going to get those eyes and those pincers without a doubt. So that is um, what I would suggest doing. This guy I would suggest getting immediately, no doubt. Then I would also suggest getting a Surge because they are... They are, so just remember to clear your filters here on your DNA parts. 
I would recommend getting a surge. Um, I don't have one myself. I'm going to buy one now, which I'll show you which one I'm going to get. But they also they are great in defense. So in terms of defense, they they will take a lot of damage, especially when you level them up high. So that is also just something to bear in mind. And from here, um, I would then either go for, in terms of defense, go for a surge or a gem. Um, uh, the gem ones, I will also put my recommendation. I'm going to go through the, the marketplace now and have a look and advise which ones to buy. But for attack, I would also go for organic. And I'll tell you why organic. Um, I don't know if you've watched my previous videos. My favorite crab is a uh, Cronana pincer with uh, Ceylon eyes. Uh, so I'm just going to type in Cronana. Cronana, and you'll see them come up. Um, just watch my previous videos, you'll know why um, I, I like that crab so much. So there's now one with a, a four breed. Um, just check the breed counts, and then also again, just before you, if that is your plan to breed, uh, depending on, see now they, you've got Cronana, Eva Cronana. So now your chances of getting an Eva pincer are, you know, 50%, depending on what you breed with. So you just got to be careful if that's your game plan. Uh, so yes, I would get one of these. Um, I know it's half your budget um, in terms of what TUS you've got. So it's 44,000 or 48,000. Um, but you can, again, you can see here now. No, I don't want to switch networks. You've got 83,000 TUS from that $95 what we had left. So, you know, just do some maths, play around. Um, I'll give you my recommendations, but the, by all means, the you know, there will be a come a time where a game, you can, a crab will be useful in any scenario. So you could buy two, I would buy two defense crabs and this organic is in between it, an attack and a defense. Where, because once it's um, leveled up very high, it's got um, a lot of um, health. So it can take a lot of damage and a lot of hits before it dies. So that is also one of the reasons why I go for this one. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to, play around in the marketplace look which crabs I want and I will be back okay while I've been uh, looking around the marketplace um, there is one thing that you need to do in order to get the battle uh, game set up so what you got to do is I'll put the description in the, the the link in the description you've got to go to this idle.crabata and you've got to set up your email address so when you go to that page MetaMask is just going to ask you if you want to connect to it you say yes connect um, and you're going to click sign and it's just you just need this for a few seconds just to add in your email address and if you want to display a name so you put in your email address there then what happens that is how you you sign into the battle game so uh, that's just a quick uh, quick thing that you need to do okay Okay, so now what I've done in the meantime is I have been going through this tool. Um, it's very handy. It's much easier than the marketplace. It runs a lot quicker. And you can see what each DNA um, item is on one page. So I will put this link in the description as well. So in the meantime, I have chosen my three crabs. I'm going with this one because it has um, a decent attack, um, a decent eye effect and it has a um, very very strong uh, defense so I'm going with that um, this is a surge and then I'm going to go with this um, gem it's also very high in defense um, I like this one because of the Earl Grey pincers so basically what it does is it gives each of your um, team a 35% damage on their next attack so you can imagine if you have um, three crabs that are ready to go with their special then their special will deal 35% more um, and the eye attack so basically what it, is, it gives a 20% max of its um, HP over the next two hits received so what that means is that um, so whatever your crabs um, 
health is, it'll give you 20% extra protection for the next two hits. So that can cause you, uh, that can assist you in many different scenarios. So I'm going with that one. And then the third one I'm going for is this one, which is a, they're all quite high on the defense side, but I'm going that route because I already have crabs. So, you know, this will just aid me later down the line. But this one I'm going for the skill um, because it deals 240% damage on its, um, it's called the plasma pierce. And I like this attack because it gives them a 20% chance for them to freeze and skip their next turn. So again, it can assist. Um, there is one thing that I have done. Um, I have sent over 4,000 extra tusks to accommodate for this. But um, I will show you there are other crabs that are much cheaper. You could probably get four or five crabs for the amount that we had initially. So if you look here um, and you... I'm just going because I already have some of these lower end crabs. So for example, you could get, um, just do your research on your crabs first, you know, check what they each do. Um, for example, these uh, craboids, they look, they're cheap. You can get a few of them. So you could potentially even get two teams with this, um, provided they, they, they cheap enough. You just need to do your research. Um, the one tool that I have been using is um, this tool over here. Um, which I will send a link for. I found it on another uh, channel on the Discord. So it basically gives you everything that you need to know about all the different crabs. I will put a link in the description to that as well. Uh, just so you can read what each, uh, on the left hand side here, that will give you what the uh, special pincers do. And on the right hand side of that will give you what the eyes do for that specific crab. So I'm going to just show you how to purchase those crabs now. So I selected them, hopefully they're still available. Let's just refresh here. Okay, so this one is still available. Um, I'm just gonna click buy. Now it'll come up and it'll ask you to, um, are you sure you wanna confirm? I'm gonna click confirm. And it just takes a few seconds. And then you'll see a success uh, notification. Their success okay so that's now um, I own that I can either sell it breed it or gift it gift it means you're moving it from wallet to wallet uh, breeding obviously self-explanatory you're breeding it with another crab this one I'm going to just refresh here and see if this one is still available again it's available I'm going to click buy again just remember I am doing this uh, buying these three crabs because of with what I what I currently don't have in my my team in my other teams so they are buying this one and I have no plans to breed this so that's why I'm it's I'm okay getting a four or five out of five so if you don't want to breed just make sure your breed count is um, you're okay with the breed count okay so I own that one now and then I want to get this one so now you can see let's see what my balance is left do I have 25 I've literally got just enough so I sent over from my other wallet and I'm gonna buy this one as well and let's see if it's still available to confirm and success okay so now I've purchased all the three crabs that I want um, I have been over this so you know how that uh, works and then here if I go into the marketplace and I now refresh you will now see um, three, one second oh yeah you have to click transfer crabat over here sorry I'm used to doing it on the mobile um, okay so you click crabat you transfer now and now Basically what you want to do is you want to transfer it from your swimmer account into your game account. So what you're going to do is you're going to click one, two, three, and you're going to go next. So are you sure you want to transfer? You say yes. And actually before I do this, I just want to show you um, So when you go into the game, I'm going to log in. I'm going to put my email address in here. 
and then I'm going to, this is how you log into the game, and I'm going to click send. So it's now going to send a code. So I'll check what that code is. It's a one-time PIN code. Zero, zero, one, seven, one, six. Okay. So now I log in and it's going to tell me, sorry, you cannot play because you don't have any crabs. Okay. So now I'm going to, this is why I stopped um, the previous step just to show you what it will do. See, you don't have any crabs in this cup. So now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go and I'm going to select I'll redo it so you can see. I'm going to click transfer Krabata. Um, and bear in mind you are on the account tab here. So on the market .crabata account, you click on account and you're under account management. So I'm going to click transfer Krabata and now it's going to say I want to transfer from swimmer to game account. And you want to select all three and I'm going to go next. Do you sure you want to transfer? Yes, I'm sure. And we will now click confirm. Takes a few seconds and now they're gone from the swimmer account into your game. Take a few seconds and then I'll show you, I will refresh. So now, just go back here. Okay, confirm. Uh, it might pop up with two messages like it did now. I just had to click confirm. And now if I reload the account, it now lets you start your adventure because now you've got Krabata in there. There's your one, two, three Krabata. Okay, so now also one thing to note, see this guy has obviously utilized all his energy for today, which is a bit cheeky. So now I can't use him until tomorrow, which is fine. Um, I'll use, I've got an, which is fine. We can just um, wait until tomorrow to use, but just that is one of the things that can happen. So, um, that being said, um, everything we are sorted now. Okay, so now um, another thing that I wanted to show you was if you want to add, if you have more than three teams, you can have, uh, you see there you've got three of nine. So you can have more than one, more than nine crabs in your battle game. You just can't use more than three teams at a time. So if you wanted to add a new battle slot, uh, you click add battle slot and it says how do you want to purchase you they've now added this yesterday you can now add with tus and it costs twelve and a half thousand tus and you would click add and it says okay add a battle slot and it'll take that money out of your um, account so um that is all that um oh here was another place to edit your your email address you can edit your email address here um as opposed to going to the idle game um, link that I show you, showed you before. So two ways of doing it. And that is that for this video. Um, if you have any comments please, uh, or questions, please drop them down in the comment section below. Um, if you like it, please like it, um, sh subscribe, uh, share with your friends. Um, and you know, let's get this community back up to where it should be because they've got everything. They've got the game, they've got the team. Uh, we just now need some newcomers um, because the game is really fun, it's exciting and uh, we can get there. Until the next one, cheers everybody, bye bye.